Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Sawadee krap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mustanza, and we're coming at you from right here at Bangkok Hospital Phuket in northern Phuket town in Samkong area, where we are here to check out what's going on with the Be Healthy Fair 2016. Bangkok Hospital is offering a range of promotions and checkup specials, including special packages with some deep, deep discounts and great rates. Uh, more on that a little later in the program. And it seems every day there's something new with the Tiger Temple as authorities are shocked to find a home 50 kilometers away from the Tiger Temple that they think was used as a slaughterhouse for tigers. Police in the Kachanaburi province say they found four caged adult tigers at the home and two workers were inside the home at the time. Testing right now is underway to determine their ages and the relation to the big cats from the actual Tiger Temple. The discovery comes a week after authorities found dozens of dead baby tigers and evidence linking them to wildlife trafficking as there were transferring over 140 live tigers to breeding centers in Rachaburi. Meanwhile, police are set to investigate 30 more tiger zoos around the country for possible links into the illegal tiger trafficking trade. And authorities are baffled at the disappearance of 78 near-endangered Madagascan tortoises from a breeding center in Chonburi. Following the disappearance of the tortoises, the head of the Bang Pra Wildlife Breeding Center was removed. But it's unclear if he was fired or just transferred to a new breeding center. A protected species because of their rarity, the colorful tortoises were last seen in their cages on May 12th. But the locks were cut open, police say. And the investigation is ongoing. And guys, your biggest nightmare came true for one time man in Pattaya. A woman nearly completely cut off her husband's penis after she learned that he was cheating on her. Reports say the woman spoke to him gently at first, helping him get in the mood, and then used a box cutter in the attack. His howls apparently guilted her into calling paramedics who say it's too early to tell if his member can be reattached. And stay right there, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Look at your bikini, it's fabulous. Where did you get it? At the Extreme Bikini Sale at Canada Beach Life. Welcome back to Phuket Extra, coming at you from the Bangkok Hospital, Phuket. A third snake attack on an unsuspecting man on a toilet is leaving many to wonder if this is becoming an epidemic. A cobra bit the bottom of a man in Prachuap as he was sitting on the toilet, but when police were called in, he asked them to take him to the local monk. The abbot of Wat Nong Hoi Temple is apparently known for curing snake bites and the monk used a needle filled with an herbal remedy to take out the black venom from the man's rear end. According to reports, the man was feeling much better within a half hour, though it's not known if the cobra was fished out from the home. And Thailand has become the first Asian country to officially rid itself of the transmission of the HIV virus and syphilis from mother to child, according to the World Health Organization. Back in 2003, the rate of HIV being spread from mother to child was 10.3%, but studies from 2015 show that it's declined to just under 2%, making Thailand one of the first countries in not just Asia, but in the world to go under 2%. The studies were done by the WHO and backed by several agencies, including UNICEF and UNAIDS. And since we're right here at Bangkok Hospital in Phuket, we spoke with Dr. Lalita, who told us a little bit more about the Be Healthy Fair 2016. And thank you for joining us here at the Bangkok Hospital Phuket. I'm here with Dr. Lalita, who's the Deputy Hospital Director here. And Dr. Lalita, can you tell us about the Be Healthy Fair 2016? Uh -huh. Bangkok Hospital Phuket uh, birthday, uh, we was born on May 1995. Now it's 21 years old already and the Healthy Fair will be held every year in May to June as the celebration of our birthday anniversary. 
not other than celebrating our birthday, we would like to give back to our patient or customer, give back as the present. So we set up the health checkup program to promote the health checkup of our patient and customer. Because uh, health checkup is very important way that the patient or customer will reach the good well-being. Health checkup program, there are many programs, including duo checkup program, whole body checkup program, men health checkup program. Not only health checkup program, we have the package of the surgery, some surgery that uh, the patient now are deciding to go or not going for surgery. We have the safe cost price of the surgery package too. And are there any special uh, giveaways or anything like that in conjunction with the Be Healthy Fair 2016? There are events, health events, such as we invite doctors, specialists from Bangkok or our specialists here to uh, have the lecture about the uh, health and some disease that uh, now, now are uh, top hit disease to promote the education to our patient or customer. And thank you so much to Dr. Lalita from Bangkok Hospital Phuket for sitting down with me and letting you know what's going on here at the Be Healthy Fair 2016. If you'd like to take advantage of all the range of checkup promotions and special packages that they're offering to all patients, be sure to come down to the Bangkok Hospital Phuket in Samkong before June 15th. And that's it for all of us here in Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. Check us again tomorrow on Thursday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Moving? Sending stuff from Phuket? Or maybe you need some important items brought to the island? PhuketTransport.com. Put yourself in experienced hands. Go to PhuketTransport.com.